Praise to God comes naturally when you count your blessings. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Ann Cetus. Ann writes, My friend Gloria called with excitement in her voice. She had not been able to leave her home except for doctor's appointments, so I understood why she was so happy to tell me. My son just attached new speakers to my computer, so now he can go to my church. Now she could hear the live broadcast of her church's worship service. She raved about God's goodness and the best gift my son could have given me. And continues, Gloria teaches me about having a thankful heart. Despite her many limitations, she's thankful for the smallest of things. Sunsets, helpful family and neighbors, quiet moments with God, the ability to remain in her own apartment. She's had a lifetime of seeing God provide for her, and she talks about Him to anyone who visits or calls. We don't know what difficulties the author of Psalm 116 was encountering. Some Bible commentaries say it was probably sickness, because he said, The cords of death entangled me. But he gave thanks to the Lord for being gracious and full of compassion when he was brought low. When we're low, it can be hard to look up. Yet if we do, we see that God is the giver of all good gifts in our life, great and small, and we learn to give him thanks. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Psalm 116, verses 1 through 9. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, He saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, Lord, have delivered me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. That's today's scripture reading from Psalm 116, verses 1 through 9. Let's pray. Lord, may we choose to be grateful for blessings great or small, and remember that you are the source of every good and perfect gift. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.